Pato Reku, who was chanced upon by Porsche Gabo in the central region somewhere. And, uh, well, he had been kicked out of school because he hadn't paid his school fees. And, uh, well, Mission Ghana TV3's program that will uh, bring uh, democracy and the community issues to your doorsteps took up the bill and settled it. Take a look at this story. When we return, we'll have a conversation with Joshua Makubu, who is an, a disability uh, advocate, and also Mr. Ametewe, who is a principal, one of the schools in the central region. Take a break now. Uh, take a look at the story. We'll be right back. And most pupils are in class. The mission team met a young boy, Uriku, in the company of his cousin. He was not in class. When we asked why, we realized Uriku had difficulty speaking. What's your name? Mission requested to meet his relatives. On arrival, his auntie, who spoke to us off camera, told us Oveku has not been able to speak since birth, but is able to understand words when people speak to him. Despite undergoing surgery at the Kolubu Teaching Hospital, Oveku cannot talk. She told us he's not in school because he's not paid his school fees. Mission then followed up at Oveku's school. Because of the fees. That is why he's not in school. The whole of this time he hasn't paid. And so if they can help him. The mission team decided to pay the fees of Eriku. We came to pay it. Unfortunately, the school proprietor, after educating him about Oriku's uh, uh, issue, being a person with a special need, she agreed to slash down the actual school fees to 200 instead of the 400. Unfortunately, the Urakutu has been, he's been in the school and she's, he's doing well. He's very happy. I saw, when you saw him, he saw that he was working and he came to show uh, what he did even in the classroom. So Uraku is very much appreciated for what we have done to her. I think TV3 has done a very good job. I think I would like to I, I congratulate them for what they are doing to support people with special need, especially those that are vulnerable and such. This school is practicing uh, inclusive education because every child is a treasure to us. The next day, he was in school, happy and in classroom. <laughs> Oweku's mother was delighted. I need help to enable my son improve upon his speech. I want to thank Mr. Sapon and TV3 for coming to our aid. I need help to further his education. The special educator, Joseph Sapon, wants schools to slash the cost of fees for persons with special needs, adding a quota system should be instituted to give priority to special needs students during admissions. If there's an uh, education system, university and other uh, schools will give them quota, maybe 5% of people with special needs to be included in the mainstream. If it is 100, at least 5% or 10% should be given to them. They, that is a free chance for them. Even with them in admission, they should consider them in uh, the process they use this one to pass through. At least you have them preferential treatment so that they'll be more encouraged to enter the mainstream. And when it comes to school selection, they should give them their first choice. Mission will continue to follow up on the progress of Oreku and bring viewers updates on his progress. And that's the story, refreshing.